What do we have? Illumination. Okay, finally. <laughs> finally. So listen, I did a whole weekly. If you don't know who I am, I'm Michelle with Angel Souls. This is an angelic reading. Tuning in, bringing the messages through that we need to know right now. So the weekly that I recorded was all about things breaking open. This has been a theme for years, okay? We've been at this for years, waiting for, <laughs> waiting for everything to break open and for it to make sense. But there might be something today, a little glimmer of understanding. With everything that has broken down, broken open, you're having a breakthrough. So you'll have to see what area of your life this is in. I feel like for the majority of people who are tuning into this video, that illumination is, why do I let people take my energy? Why do I think that this earth plane realm is the end all be all? <laughs> why won't I allow myself to be spiritually open? And I can give you a good guess. If your life is anything like mine, you get ridiculed. You get people going, mm -hmm, okay, that's cute. You believe in that stuff? Okay. And they're a part of the problem. Now, I'm not saying you can't believe the way you want to believe. You do you. But the judgment of others, could you imagine if you went to somebody who's super religious and started to, you know, talk down to them, be condescending to them? I'm back in a small town and it is Christian. Okay. It's, it's not Christian. It's Christian. Okay. And me doing what I do, it, it, I, I get diminished all the time. And yet there will be someone standing there who's never read the Bible, who just goes by what somebody who did read the Bible, presumably, is telling them to believe. They question nothing and they have this religious superiority over everybody else, which in my mind is the most non-Christian thing you could possibly do. Or having some sort of moral superiority over someone's lifestyle or the choices that they make while they themselves are not doing anything to better their life. They're just, I don't know, in some cases, maybe they're just having lots of kids because it's, it's the Lord's doing. I don't think the Lord did that. I think you did. <laughs> we see you. Okay. <laughs> that was a really dumb laugh. We see you y'all. Okay. So stop with the, with the, with the act that you're above it all. Okay. You're not. Or someone, and this is a big one. We're coming into a whole era where we're going to get back to being real. Not just saying what people want to hear. Not just being PC. People are tired of it. Now that PC talk I think had good intentions in the beginning. And then it became a silencing mechanism. And especially the whole like Karen thing. I've brought this example up before. You sneeze wrong. And if somebody just decides they don't like you, they're going to call you a Karen. Which has a lot of defamation behind it. A lot. That's slanderous <laughs> because Karens are not just somebody, you know, somebody who's entitled. Typically, they've got quite deeper, darker things associated with that. So that's one way that like if someone, especially if you're a woman and you're standing up for yourself, you'll get called that sometimes by the younger generation, not always, but sometimes, or like older people who are trying to seem young. That's the worst but I'm judging. Let me stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, you'll, you'll get that quite a bit. But again, it's just to silence people who are trying to have their voice. Reserve that for people who actually embody those traits or trying to cancel someone because they disagree with you or trying to ruin their livelihood because they're not living the way you want. So this whole judgment thing, and here's the thing, this illumination might have to do with suddenly somebody that you put on a pedestal you realize they're, they're no better than me. Like they make mistakes too. How could I have allowed them to make me believe that they were above me? The masks are falling off and people are going to be freaking out. 
the ones who were wearing the masks in the beginning, now people, they're being exposed. <sighs> and you're seeing things for what they are. But it's good. It's good because you can come through. So angelsouls444.com. We'll leave it there. I will see you tomorrow. Take care.